Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Knots with your host, Jason Bellchamber. Today I'd like to show you another pretty little Trillium Triskel knot. This one is one of three found on the Crozier of Clonmacnoise from Ireland. There's three. There's a nice one here, here, and here. In this segment, I'd like to show you this one right here and how to draw it. Notice it's a nice triangular shape. It's a little bit stretched, and it's not exactly your Trillium Triskel. The way to do this is have a pencil, eraser, and a pen handy. Be sure not to mark with your pencil too hard because you're going to want to erase it. First of all, again, this one is a variant of your Trillium. You make a triangle, a dot in the center, and three dots, a little more than halfway to the corners. And if you can draw this shape, you form the spine of a lot of different Triscal shapes. But as we can see with this one, it does some different things. First off, Draw a nice triangle. You might want to make it a little taller. Put a dot right in the center. And then put three dots nearly two thirds of the way to each corner. Draw one line here and another one here. But instead of meeting down here, this one connects right to this dot. And this one connects right to this dot. Next, this one reaches over. And this one reaches over here, too. So then you can see the basic spine of this shape. Now in order to make it pop we want to make an optical illusion. <laughs> so what you do is you take your marker and you start at one of the points. You mark a line that would go over. Then the next line here you mark this as your spine so this one will go over and then you stop where it would go under so you're gonna alternate it would stop here this line and start underneath continue over and stop this one will alternate and go up this one under over and stop. This one under, over, and stop. So there's a few different things you can do here. You can either just use this spine and trace over a page like this, or with some practice you can actually go right from this line. What I'm going to do is use a slightly thicker marker. And shade this in. You want to make your spine as uniform as possible with the thickness of the marker that you're using. Here comes the fun part. Using your thinner marker of the two, you start to draw a line that will surround your spine. Make it the same distance away 
like so. You, the reason why you want to make it the same distance is because you might want to thicken your inside line at some point. Next, imagine this one is going under and we'll start about here. Imagine this goes under, goes up and stop so these lines match up before you change your direction. Continue these ones and your spine. Now imagine this crosses under and this one here crosses over and under too and then over. Now imagine this one's coming through and then this one goes over like so. Try to balance this so it's the same, it stops at the same spot. That way it will create a balance that's pleasing to the eye. Then start shading it in a little heavier. You're going to want to wait until your marker is dried. Wait about five minutes before you start using your eraser, otherwise you're going to smudge your ink all over the place, and that's not very fun at all. So, very carefully, just keep scoring closer and closer to the edge of your spine. soon you'll be able to make it look very balanced. to a different marker, because I think this one is done. I'm actually going to use a thicker one here. And that works a little nicer. I can use my thinner one when I get to the points that are closer to do the touch-ups. thicker the marker, the wetter the ink, so the longer the you want to dry before you start to erase it. And that is looking okay. Once I get close to the cutoff point, I'm going to use my finer marker for the fine detail. And almost done. The best thing to do if you want to draw and draw well is to practice, 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 and just let yourself be obsessed with drawing the same thing over and over. It's like practicing music or practicing anything. That's kind of close enough for today. And there's one of the Triskels from the Crozier of Clownic Noise from Ireland.